duly arrived. They were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wuntai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P Zero class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lotbrock took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... 
Look, smoke. Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Breaking news at this hour. Cloud, I'm picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of roped individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable. So, check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading towards us. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. Breaking news at this hour. In Chadley. That's the plan. At least till they get to wherever they're going. <laughs> Getting sleepy, are we? What a slow they walk, who wouldn't? We can run on ahead and play scout. But stay where we can see you. Uh, ever since we left the veil, we never should have dropped the intellectual stick. Well, I grew up drinking that water. That's 
certainly explains a lot. Sure those filters worked? You tell me. Neat. We got fans. They're after the proto relic, too. Ignore them.
decent amount of choker brass, I suppose. Well, what do you think? Should we take it back to the... This stuff can be one hell of a hassle. Okay, so what are you... <laughs> First, I take this fluff, mix it with some... Then I squeeze it all out and... That's some kind of magic medicine. Oh, no. Just a little. This wrinkly, cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra promise, I'll make it. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's... What a surprise. You've got a lot of nerve casting aspersions. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been tracking down Selena, forced you to get in touch, and all that running across the water? What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel... Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Think of it as a fight... Oh, give me a break. No, it's fine. Then it's settled. I'm and dear Selena. If Cloud wins, does that... You've got a deal. But when you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Thank you. 